I really think there's a big family at UMBC, and that's what I was looking for from a college experience, and I really like that. I don't live very far from here. My parents live in Rockville, but I live on campus, and I've lived on campus all four years, so I've built a family here. When I first got here, I actually didn't know that I was going to be a double major. I had no idea how I was going to combine them. And after a while, after talking to a lot of people, going to a lot of talks, I realized that I'm really passionate about just learning for the rest of my life. It does take work to add the second major that doesn't relate to the first one. But just because I knew that I wanted to do something other than just science, to be able to carry on a conversation with somebody that's not just a scientist when I go out into the real world. So that really helped me prepare, you know, to leave UMBC. And I'm really grateful to have had that opportunity at UMBC and seeing all the wonderful things that undergrads do and that undergrads are exposed to enabled me to kind of take, I don't know, take control of my life and try out all these new different things and find out what I was good at and what I really loved. I've gained a lot of confidence, so I'm more comfortable with talking to people about things I know and even things I don't know. And I also think I've gained kind of a view of what I want to do with my life. And that's really nice because four years ago, I had no idea. The advice that I'd like to give is don't think that the major you choose is your major for life. You can do anything you want. You can do a double major. You don't even have to have a major when you start college. This is the time you find yourself and this is the time that you figure out what you're good at and what you are really passionate about.